I'm going to teach you SQLite database in Android Studio and create an amazing app exactly like this. Hello guys and welcome to Master Android channel. We will continue with the complete Android developer course and we will learn how to create an app that stores, receives, delete data inside our apps using SQLite database. If this is your first time here, please subscribe uh, to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss daily uploads. If you have any questions, projects, suggestions, tutorials that you want us to make, please comment it below. Please like our videos so it will help us making new videos every day. Let's start creating our SQLite database. So let's start by understanding how SQLite databases works in Android Studio and Android software. Now, we go to Master Android. This is our application, official application available to download freely on Play Store. We helped millions of people to learn Android from this app. We go to Android course. We select the section number five, storage and persistence. And here we go, page number nine, SQL Lite. SQL Lite. Welcome to SQL Lite to Android and, uh, example. SQL Lite is the mostly preferred way to store data for Android applications. For many applications, SQL Lite is the apps backbone whether it's used directly via some third-party wrappers or other features below is the final app that we want to create today using the sql Lite database we will see it in a real example here i'm going to show you the sql app that we want to create in this lesson the, these are the we can update, we can update the, the notes, update, delete, or add some uh, notes. Note, and here we go, here is the test, that record. It is saved in, as number three inside our to-do list or SQL app, Lite app. So the usage of Android SQL Lite is a very lightweight database which comes with Android OS. Android SQL Lite combines a clean SQL interface with a very small memory footprint and a descent speed. For Android, SQL Lite is a baked, baked into the Android runtime, so every Android application can create its own SQL Lite databases. Android SQL Lite native API is not JDBS BC, sorry, or JDBC might as JDBC uh, might be too much overhead for memory limited smartphones. Once a database is created successfully, it's located in data slash data slash databases slash accessible from the Android device monitor. SQL is a typical uh, relation, relational database containing tables which consist of rows and columns, indexes, etc. We can create our own tables to hold the data accordingly. This structure is referred uh, to us as a schema. We will see in the next couple of minutes and next uh, tutorials uh, and the uh, videos, uh, but before uh, the SQL open helpers, database helper, database manager. So, uh, subscribe below to our YouTube channel in, uh, to ensure that you don't miss any of these concepts or any of new tutorials. Now, Android has features available to handle changing database schemas, which mostly depending on the, on using the SQL Lite open helper class. So what is this class? SQL Lite Open Helper class is designed to get rid of two very common problems. When the application runs the first time, at this point, you, we don't yet have a database. 
So we will have to create the tables, indexes, starter data, and so on. When the application is upgraded to a newer schema, our database will still be on the old schema for the older edition of the app. We will have option to alter the database schema to match the needs of the rest of the application. So it is a very useful class that we are going to create inside our application. Now, SQL Open Helper wraps its logic to create upgrade database as per our specifications for this we will need uh, to create a custom subclass of SQL Light Open Helper, implementing at least the following three methods. We need to create three methods. First of all, the constructor, which this will take the context, example, and activity, the name of the database, optional cursor factory, uh, we'll discuss in later uh, in real time uh, creating the app and an integer presenting the version of database schema that you are uh, using. So database helper, a constructor class, context, context, and returning the super uh, or using the super context database name, null and DB version. On create method, on create method, passing SQL light database DB as its argument. So it's called when there is no database and the app needs one. It passes us an SQL light database object pointing to newly created database that we can populate with the tables and initial data. The third method is called on an upgrade. Also upgrade uh, passes three, uh, three arguments at DB SQL light database old version and the new version. It's called when the schema version we need does not match the schema version of the database. It passes us an SQL database object and the old and the new version numbers. Hence, we can figure out the best way to convert the, the database from the old schema to the new schema. We define a DB manager class to perform all database, crude, create, read, update, and delete operations. Now the connection. Before performing any database operation like insert that update delete records in a table, first open the database connection by calling get writable database method as shown below. DB manager open through SQL exceptions, DB helper and new helper and database get writable database method. The DB helper is an instance of the subclass of SQLite Happen Helper class. Now, to create to close the database, we use DB helper .close. The following code snippet shows how to insert a new record in the Android SQLite database. We are making a new insert uh, uh, method. Passing a string, two strings, name and the description. Content value, content value, new content value method, putting SQL light uh, or database helper subject name, and then putting the database help, uh, calling a database helper uh, description and putting the value of description. Database dot insert database help uh, database helper dot table name null and content value. Don't worry, we will see them in the real example. So uh, miss, uh, don't miss to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Master Android, to get all of these stuffs free with the source codes uh, freely. We will discuss the other instance value of the, uh, when we jump into the coding part. Now, the update, mod, the update method. The following snippet code shows, uh, shows how the, to update a single record in database. Public update, we passing ID, name, this description. Content value, new content value, put. We are putting the name and we are putting the description. That update, updating uh, uh, process or updating uh, uh, code will be get here. And I database dot update, database helper dot update table name, 
content value, database helper, that ID equal uh, ID and the null and returning the ID. So here we have been updating the table name, the content value, the helper ID and the ID null. Now go, we're going to delete, we just need to pass the ID of the record to be deleted. So passing the ID, database.delete, database helper.table name, and database helper.id, ID null. The cursor. The cursor represents the entire result set of the query. Once the query is fetched, a call to the cursor to move the first method is made calling move to first method does two thing it allows us to test whether the query returned an empty set by testing the return value the second the second thing it moves the cursor to the first result when the set is not empty the following code is used to fetch all records public cursor fetch string we are calling them database helper, the cursor we are made, turning the query. If the cursor does not equal to null, cursor.move to first and returning at the final result as cursor. Another way to use a cursor is to wrap it in a cursor adapter. Just as array adapter adapts arrays, cursor adapter adapt, adapts cursor objects, making their data available to an adapter view like a list view the code let's jump out to our project that uses sqlite to store some meaningful uh, data in this application we wish to create records that store country names and their respective currencies in the form of the list view we cover all features of discussed above these are the application consisting of five five uh, classes this is our db helper db manager second class and the country list activity third class the fourth is country list activity and the fifth class db manager simple cursor adapter and we are going to create some menus and uh, layouts and finally adding them to our <coughs> main activity uh, main activity <coughs> layout and main activity class. These uh, these uh, source codes are available to download uh, on our uh, YouTube uh, channel, uh, Master Android uh, channel, and Master Android app found on Play Store and Master Android Pro. If you want to donate us one dollar, please uh, uh, purchase uh, Master Android Pro. If you need more free stuff, download Master Android application and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Master Android. Please uh, make us doing more and more videos, free videos and free courses. Please, uh, please rate us five stars on Udemy, like, uh, like our course and comment below if you have any questions or anything or you just want to thank us please uh, comment it below. Thank you guys. I hope you subscribe to get the next videos later on.